Afghans are uneasy. As the United States withdraws from Afghanistan, uncertainty looms over whether the government can stand on its own against relentless bloodshed. Overnight, a car packed with explosives in Lokar province detonated. More than two dozen people were killed, with high school students among the dead. It's just the latest attack. In the weeks after the U.S. president announced, all American and NATO forces would be gone from the country by the symbolic date of September 11th. And after 20 years of value, valor, and sacrifice, it's time to bring those troops home. Today marks the official start of the troop drawdown, despite grim prospects for peace in the country. Violence has surged, and negotiations between the Taliban and Kabul government are on shaky ground. One decade since the death of Osama bin Laden, there are fears al-Qaeda will partner once again with the Taliban after the withdrawal. A return to violence would be one, senseless and tragic, uh, but make no mistake, we have the military means to respond forcefully uh, to any type of attacks against the coalition and the military means to support the Afghan security forces. Th that would be a mistake to move in that direction. A U.S. military spokesperson tweeted today that there was some ineffective firing near the Kandahar Air Base, but that no one was hurt. He also said that U.S. forces conducted a precision strike, destroying additional rockets aimed at the airfield. Now, the Trump administration had signed a deal with the Taliban promising a complete withdrawal by May 1st, raising fears now that the insurgent group may attack withdrawing forces. Karen Siolin, City News.